While clowns have always been used in movies to terrify, there are reasons to fear them in real life as well. Down to the creepy clown sighting in Largo. Those mysterious clown sightings. Creepy clown sightings around the country. New developments in that cold case involving a killer clown. This is the story of how a killer clown remained at large for nearly 30 years. On May 26, 1990, Marlene Warren sat in her kitchen with her son and his friends. She heard the doorbell ring. She answered to find a clown with a painted on smile, offering her flowers and balloons. After giving Marlene the gifts, the clown took out a gun and shot her in the face. Witnesses said that after shooting Marlene, the clown calmly walked back to its white Chrysler LeBaron and drove away. Marlene died in the hospital two days later. Marlene's husband, Michael Warren, and Sheila Keen, an employee of Michael's auto dealership, were reportedly considered suspects in the murder in 1992. At the time of the murder, Michael and Sheila were allegedly having an affair, which was one of the reasons police zeroed in on them as suspects. The two denied the affair. Police believe Michael had a motive to kill his wife, including a five-figure life insurance policy on Marlene, as well as the fact he'd gained full ownership of their shared property. But the hard evidence against him was lacking, so the investigation continued. Five months after his wife's murder, Michael turned himself into the police. But not for murder. Michael admitted, instead, to operating a chop shop. In 1994, Michael was convicted of grand theft, racketeering, and odometer tampering. He went to jail for just under four years. By the time of Michael's release, the police had yet to find his wife's murderer. The case was growing cold. In 2002, 12 years after Marlene's murder, Sheila and Michael were married. Although the detectives on the case still believed Michael and Sheila to be suspects, they didn't have enough evidence for a conviction. That is, until 2014. In 2014, Palm Beach County investigators received a grant that allowed them to reopen cold cases and used advanced DNA technology to make a break in the case. With the new discoveries, they were able to arrest Sheila Keen Warren in Washington County, Virginia in 2017 for the murder of Marlene Warren. The 54-year-old wife and stepmother charged in a bizarre 27-year-old cold case. At the time of her arrest, police found her in the car with her husband, Michael. Michael Warren has yet to be charged. The investigation remains ongoing. Careful who you trust especially when it comes to clowns that make house calls.